Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see. If y'all can see me, it's a little crazy right now. So, a little bit about me. Well, I am an energy healer, and my name is Leo Lights. So, I'm an energy healer, a herbalist, and a messenger. I receive messages from the higher realms. I can do energy readings and things of that nature. Hey, how you doing again? But I just honestly got on here to share a couple things with you to educate y'all so y'all can maximize your health and, and live a fulfilled life. Now, it's very important that we recognize our unseen energy. The unseen energy is what created us. It's, it's the force that's created everything around us. So we have energy centers. We have seven main energy centers. We have our crown. We have our third eye, we have our throat, we have our heart. This right here is our uh, solar plexus. Right here by the navel is the sacral. And right here, this area right here, that is our root chakra. Now, each of those seven main centers has a purpose. So if one of them is blocked, you know, not balanced, then you will experience a physical uh a physical effect in this reality so i mean for example if you're constantly f um, floating in your head you're spacing and stuff all the time that means that you're putting too much attention on your crown chakra right here so it's going to make you in balance and then one of the side effects is a lot of people feel this you feel like you don't belong here on earth you feel feel lost you feel like you're just ready to leave uh, maybe sad or depressed or things of that nature so so when that happens when this right here feels unbalanced where you overactive and you visualizing uh a lot where you daydreaming and everything in that nature you got to ground yourself so everything has to have a healthy balance a harmony for everything to flow energy is very important energy creates this reality but really i just desire to share some couple resources with you and uh, what I've been implementing in my life since 2014, I've been doing a lot of, I do a lot of energy healing on myself and my family. So now it's time for me to energy heal other folks. So one of the resources, this book I got in 2014, is a very good book. It's a practical, uh, a practical workbook for anybody that's interested into energy healing and the chakras and the meridians. It breaks it down a little bit about uh, uh, acupuncture and things of that nature. Acupuncture is also connected with you know the energy healing as well so here's this book right here it's a very good book i mean it's pretty informative it gives you questionnaires and all that kind of stuff for you you know for your clients or even for you depending on exactly what you want to do now i couldn't find it really questions in here to i thought there was questions in here to ask like um, it asks you questions pretty much to see which chakras are blocked, but it wasn't in this book. Hey, hey, Amber, how you doing? Uh, hey, uh, Shagda Sekmir. Sorry if I pronounce your name, per name, ah, your name wrong, but I believe that is a Arabic name, correct? And I love Hindu, Hinduism. So now we're about to talk about these, get back into these chakras. So I looked online and see if I can find uh, some questions to help us uh, with, um, or help me in particular, uh, to help you. So these questions, post a, you take this quiz and it tells you if, it, if your chakras are blocked, if you have something that's overactive, something that's underactive, and it gives you some basic information and techniques of which you can do and apply on this website and this website is called electric energies that's e c l e c t i c i guess it's e electric energies so this sheet right here is just the exercises that i just printed out what's going on with my chakra system right so i don't need this page where i don't desire this page so it's a pretty cool little website. It gives you the introduction to the to the chakras. As you can see, it tells you exactly what each chakra means. And for my Arabic friend over there, uh, I had trouble pronouncing the Arabic terms, but I really enjoy uh, 
the Arabic terms more than the English terms, you know, like um, Shiva. I think that's one of them. That's uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Shanti, oh, Shanti. I think that's connected with the crown, but I can't properly pronounce it, so I apologize. But uh, I didn't print out my, my dang uh, my test personally. Let me look on this laptop. What I got going on, I'll show y'all a little something. So, I actually, let's look at this laptop right quick. Let me get into my email. And I'll show you my results just to show you how it is. Yes, it is my sweet brother. Yeah, so anyway, let's go right here. Uh, but this is what I do, y'all. work with my energy. I work with energies around me. I, I use the higher, higher energies to create my reality and i really spread a lot of positive seeds into the ether you know i spread it out here into this physical world so you guys can take it and heal from it and grow from it learn from it and live your life's full potential see a lot of us you know uh some of us are not too knowledgeable of the chakras and the energies that's in us and around us so that's why i do this to make people aware exactly like what's going on because every physical ailment that you are experiencing is happening internally is happening energetically so if you having uh issues maybe with your foot and your foot be hurting well that means there's something going on with you not being grounded or something in that nature so then you take that information right and you can look up root chakra and see the symptoms of uh improper oh, symptoms of having an imbalanced root chakra you know or, uh, I mean, if you're really connected with your spirit, you know, and you have, you know, uh, connections with the spiritual world and your helpers and guys and all that stuff. I mean, you can talk to them, ask them, you can pray about, you can have dreams about. You always got first thing, man, you have to be aware of yourself because if you're not aware of yourself, you, you damn sure ain't going to figure out what's exactly going on with you. I mean. That, that's as simple as that. And I know when I first was trying to be aware of my thoughts and my mind and my emotions and energy, trying to figure things out, I'm like, damn, like, how can I really do this? But really over time, you know, with practice and consistency, it becomes an everyday thing. I mean, yeah, sometimes I do space that my mind do go here, but I am highly aware of where my thoughts go and I draw them back and, you know, sometimes I can't catch them all, but I mean, we can't catch them all. I mean, we just got a mind up here of all these thoughts and all these energies and stuff that we got to cultivate and uh, really train. But uh, let me log in here right quick. I'm tell y'all something. I don't know about y'all, but <clears throat> show y'all something before I log in. Y'all need to get y'all a library, right? You can get your herbs. You know, all your libraries, you need to get on your supplements and stuff. It's off topic, but it's all energy, right? You know, my uh, my wife, she makes uh, beauty care products and stuff. You know, we got sage and stuff for sale and everything in that nature. So, y'all really, you know, y'all need a, my personal opinion, man, y'all need to get y'all a library because once this internet, if internet or technology ever take a shit, at least I have books, you know, to, to really educate myself and still be able to um you know uh function you know for my health at least and maybe help some other people during these times but i'm telling y'all you know i'm a herbalist so that's what i do hold up for a second let me log into this right quick let's see at um 20 what what's that password that? damn hold up see i got so many emails i'll be forgetting these passwords no, I didn't forget it. Typed it in wrong. So I'm going to show you my results. I just emailed it to me. What you humming about, Amber? You better get you a library, I'm telling you. Um, but anyway, so let's get on here. And um, we're going to open up this, my report. Oh, wrong one. Shit. Give me a second. I should have been prepared on this. I apologize, guys, but thank you for your patience. So here's my report that I did on this site. It's called Elect Electic, which is E E C L E C T I C Energies. So here's my report. Now, I'm pretty pleased with it. It seemed pretty balanced. I do have a overactive 
um, not overactive, but let me show y'all. So here's the percentages it gives you right here. So this right here is what I've been working on, my root. Uh, yes, I've been having a lot of fire energy, which is, you know, in the belly, the sacral chakra area. But I pretty much am pleased with the results. I mean, and I like that it gives us a little graph. And then you can click right here and say, you know, what does this mean? Um, pretty much it explains the chakras and what they are and their functions. And then right here, open your under active chakras and it gives you all the chakras, right? And it gives you proper um, hand positions that you can use in, in an exercise to help you open your chakras. So, um, but... I already showed you guys all this stuff on that paper. I had to print it out. Actually, it's right here. So here's the introduction. It tells you all, all of that good stuff. And then right here, opening the chakras. So it gives you all these root chakras. So that's what I need to focus on, right? Oh, I didn't see this part. It says additional techniques to open the root chakras. So I'm clicking on that and see what I'm talking about. Cool, grounding. You know, Tai Chi, I love Tai Chi. So look, here's all the information right here that you guys can use, utilize, you know, for free. So, I mean, they ask for donations, of course. I mean, if you desire to make desire to make a donation, but this is a very good site. And uh, this is my first time running into it. And I really enjoy it. And I am going to start recommending it because I feel like everything that I have to offer for a service we all can do this ourselves but as i always say you know if you you know the woke and dash minds group everything here for free but if you guys do feel like you know you require some assistance from me because you're not quite understanding or, or comprehending you know the energy center chakras or what's going on with you please reach out to me on my woke minds page and i will be happy to uh, be a service to you uh, but these services do cost. But like I said, I'm giving you free knowledge and wisdom right here. You can do all the research and stuff that um, that is required to heal yourself. So I really thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, much love, joy, peace, and harmony to all. And take care.